welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. I hope you enjoyed the video last night, but now we are we are about to get into the regular swing of things, the regular format of video, where I show you one encounter as a whole, and hopefully you can learn something from it. Now, if you're looking at the left side of this of the left side of this pre lobby screen, and you're like, "Boy, Jet, you should have fun." Well, here's the thing about it. Sometimes the new players will do some really random shit that will catch you off guard and you die for it. You can predict what experienced players will do. You can't predict what a new player is going to do. So even though half the lobby has on default skins, I'm still just as cautious as usual. Well, I say cautious. Um, this is a uh, revolver jet. Yes, uh, teabag demon and teabag ghosty. You both have inspired me to um try to do what you do. And what you're about to see in this encounter, at least at the very beginning, and then you're gonna see it kind of toned down a little bit is I'm gonna do stuff that I would not usually do. No, this is not a, not a jet. It's it's not that. It's not on that level. For instance, I hit the detector. I wouldn't do that. Instead, I would wait for somebody to hit the detector and then shoot them for it. But as I read in the comment section of one of my streams, not comment section, stream chat, somebody told me that they hit the detector to deny someone else using it and then they know where everybody else is at at the same time. Granted, there are two sides to every coin, and it's okay. Now, I'm kind of chilling out right there to see if there's anybody heading up this way because maybe they want to try to kill me, right? No, that is not the case at all. Y'all want to know what that felt like. It felt like this. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I if you came here for my analogies, I'm going to put it to you like this. That felt like throwing or like using a bowling ball. And bowling, except you're not hitting pins. You're hitting very tiny balloons. That's what it felt like. Basically, it felt like launching something really heavy at something really small and fragile, and you hear the effect of it. That's what that shit felt like. Am I addicted to it? Maybe. Will I do this in the future? Maybe. Will it be on stream? Probably. Have I already done it on stream? Yes. But enough about that. Now, there's a war going on over here. And somebody even has an SVD. Why would you bring an SVD on this map? I have no idea, but hey, um, somebody bought an M21 on this map, and I actually fucking needed the thing. So maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe. But it's cool. There was a war going on here. There was a war going on. But now it seems to have fell quiet. Interesting. You hear? There's nothing there. There's nothing there at all. So, that brief exchange. Oh, shit, never mind. Stuff is still going on. They hid behind cover and healed up. That's, that's what happened. 
or it could be a duo that killed one person. They're trying to find a second person and they just found him. So I'm watching this area right here because it wouldn't make sense for a lone survivor of this engagement to be running toward that exit. But instead, this shit is still going on. And I heard a shotgun. So the shotgun is probably dictating the pace of the engagement because it's it's really awkward when somebody fires one shotgun blast and they wait around a corner and then they reload. But you know, actually, wait a minute, pause. I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna try something. Yeah, um, that probably didn't cause the most damage at, at all anyway. I'm not, I'm not ghosty. I'm not teabag demon. I'm not teabag ghosty. I'm not teabag demon. But hey, I tried. I tried. Now, I pretty much gave away. Oh shit. Now look. Was that at me? Maybe. Maybe it was, right? But thankfully, I have this VZ58 in my hand, so in case they want to get close, I got an assault rifle on me. But it wasn't. What I think happened is that was a stray bullet, but it came awfully close to me. Awfully close. Because some more gunshots rang out, and yet I didn't see anybody. Very interesting. But there they go now. That's the team with an SVD. How do I know they have an SVD? As I strike my 007 poles right there. Because I could tell from this far away that there's a rifle on one, on one of their backs. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not confident with this weapon. I've only used it in eliminations. So, if you're yelling at your TV right now, Jet, go rush them down. If I miss one shot, I'm gone. Because, you know, the delay between the shots with a Magnum, right? One has an SVD, and another has an assault rifle. I'm not a particularly good shot. Like right here, you see I'm thinking about shooting. But, I decide I gotta get closer. And right here is also when I realize that, uh... They're trying to get the hell out of here. They're trying to. Now, they shot near me one time. But do you think that they know I'm still here? Like I said, I'm not confident I missed that shot. But also at the same time too, the dude kind of moved while the bullet was in the air. So there's that. Now, I'm thinking where where is his buddy at? That's what I'm thinking. Killed a guy right here. Had behind a tree. I don't see his buddy. Now I am going to mess up. And how am I going to mess up? Watch what I do. I'm gonna look at everything and get up and walk away. Then I realize this dude has a whole SVD on him. What am I doing? Turn around, go back to the body. Now, granted, we don't know where his buddy's at. Go back to the body, go prone once again, and pick up the SVD and ammunition for it. Now, get up, walk away. Where's his buddy? 
Where's his buddy? So you didn't know, you didn't hear it because it was in transition, but his friend actually let off some celebration shots, which told me that yes, he has indeed left. Now, does that mean I'm alone? Well, there's only one way to find out. With the amount of gunshots going on, I pretty much just walked in the open all the way to the detector, but y'all didn't even need to see that much. Yeah, that's that's my attempt at using the revolver in this game. I may try to do it some more, maybe, but uh, y'all, here's the crazy part. I actually skipped the mission that said kill an outlander with a pistol right before this encounter. What I miss out on? Some XP. I mean, yeah, it's it's alright. Don't really care about it. Well guys, um that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace.